Hello there. So, uh, today I was at home on Instagram talking to everyone about 11 o'clock this morning, 11 11 to be precise. And uh, a lot of people were asking me about opposite tail whips and goofy footed tail whips. So, today I'm going to give you some tips on doing either an opposite, opposite tail whip or a switch footed tail whip. So, for me, with an opposite tail whip, personal preference, um, I like to take my foot off of the pedal and come back to the back of the frame where I give it a little nudge. And I keep my front end high when I do this. And I keep a little, little kick on the back end here. And I dip the bike. And I, I tend to carve in, like, in the downside whip direction. I lean, I lean to the left a little bit. Let the whip go around. And the important thing here for me is not to go around the back of the bike when I get back on, but to go over the frame to the forward pedal because it's right there. So yeah, that, that style works for me. So I'm going to show you something right now. First I'll show you how we kick the whip. So like I said, what I tend to do is I carve to the downside whip direction. So for me it's right to left because I'm kicking the whip off. So I'll show you what I mean. So I said to you about how we come off the bike, the way we drop the feet back and kick the back of the bike to, to whip it. I said about carving right to left and of course I said about how you, how you step over the frame to the forward pedal. Um, most important thing with tower whips is always to keep your feet high and keep, keep over the front of the bike and keep your whip down. So try and elevate yourself. Um, I'll show you how like, the last piece of it looks like right now so you see how I step onto the bike. We've got our little mate Billy here. Okay. Right, Billy is gonna, gonna show you. He just learned opposite tail the other day, and he does exactly the way uh, that I just explained it on the camera. So, you're gonna fire out an off whip for us, Bill. Let's go. Yeah. Alright, let's try. Again. Yeah. Again. look closely to that, we get a slow-mo on it, you see that Billy doesn't actually drop his foot back and kick the whip, he just pushes straight from the pedal, um, which is probably what's making him come off over the back a little bit, so, um, do you know you do that? Do you know you push off of here rather than like coming back like this? Try that, just push off the end, like, drag, drag your foot back a bit and carve a little bit like downside. Alright, try it. Woo! A bit sketchy, but pulled it. how you do a opposite tower whip or a goofy footed tower whip so um, let us know if you have any success with learning them um, comment below hit the like button subscribe all the usual thank you 